Welcome back to part 5 of this series where we're building a quiz app with AngularJS and in this video we're going to take a look at building one of my favourite features in this application and it really goes to show the power of AngularJS and the feature that we're talking about is the search functionality on our list of turtles. So in this video we're going to tackle creating this search functionality so here we could type in like alligator, for example, and in real time, this list of results will get filtered based on the search query. So when there's nothing here, all of the turtles display. When we type something in, in real time, they will get filtered. And this is typically something that would be pretty hard to implement, but Angular makes it extremely easy. So if we hop back into our HTML, we'll start with the markup for the search area which will make a form and we'll remove the action because we don't need that and we'll give it a class of form in line well well small so that just gives it the little gray area around the outside to make it nice and we'll give it clear fix and then we want to add the little search icon that little search icon there so that's also a part of bootstrap it's a glyph icon within bootstrap so we'll put that on a span and we'll give the span the class of glyph icon and glyph icon dash search and then we create an input type text we'll give it a placeholder of search dot 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 and a class of form control. So now we'll just put all of these on new lines because we're running out of space. And now we want to add a directive. So the directive we want to add is a new one called ng model. So what ng-model allows us to do is bind this input, whatever text is typed into the input, to a property on our controller. So we'll head into the controller and we'll create the property. So we'll call it vm.search and we'll set that equal to just an empty string. And then inside the ng-model directive, we say list.search. So of course we're still using the list dot because we're inside the list controller and we're binding to the search property, which is right now an empty string. So it's going to populate this input with whatever is inside this search property. So right now it's an empty string. So if we hop into the application here, it's an empty string, so there's nothing in here. But if we put some gibberish into the string and then saved and then hop back into the browser it's going to populate that search with just that gibberish but notice there's nothing being filtered yet we'll get to that in a sec but the great thing about ng model is not only will it bind one way so when we change search in the controller it will populate the input with that but it will also go the other way so if we type something in to the input it will automatically change the search property on our controller so that's something called two-way data binding which is something that a lot of people talk about within angular because it's one of the great features of angular is this two-way data binding so we can type something in here and it will change the property on our controller or we can change the property on our controller and it will change the text in the input. So obviously this is all well and good, but we want to filter our search. So to do that, Angular provides us something called filters. So we can filter the results on our ng repeat using Angular filters and use this search query as the metric to filter by. So to do that, we go into our ng repeat, and then we type the pipe symbol, then the word filter, and then whatever we want to filter by. So we want to filter by list.search. 
So now this pipe symbol, if you're used to using Unix commands, you'll be familiar with what this does. So this just takes the return value from this operation and pumps it into this operation. And then that will return something which will go into the ng-repeat. So in terms of the ng-repeat, what's going to happen is we're going to list, loop through everything in list.data and then every iteration is then going to be filtered by this search term. And if this search term is found somewhere inside this data, then the filter will return that and allow it to be printed out. But if it's not inside that data, the filter will not let it pass through and therefore it won't ever get to the markup area so it won't print. And that's how we filter the search and that's, it's as simple as that. So then we can come back into the browser and we can type something in here and alligator, there we go. Or we can say Ridley. And notice there I type RID and we get three results but then I add the L and it's instantly just filtering it down to two. And that's all achieved simply by using the ng model two-way data binding and then the angular filter and just filtering by filtering by list.search and that's it. We are done with the search functionality. So in the next video we're going to move forward into the quiz. So if I just open up the final application Notice we have the start quiz over here, which we don't have yet. So we're going to add that button and then we're going to add the logic that's going to allow us to transition away from this list view into the quiz. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.